Hi everyone, this is Debbie at Color Color Everywhere, and today I wanted to do a final flip through of um, some steampunk journals that I recently finished before I send them off to be sold. So um, I have two. One is titled The Lady and the other one is The Gentleman, and they're both hardbacks. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and start the flip through. So let's look at the cover first. Um, this cover is made of um, matte board, which is a nice firm uh, board. And it's covered with canvas and then painted. Here's the back. You can see I've um, used some stenciling, roses. The, the, the real theme of the ladies journal is steampunk and roses. So you'll see a lot of roses in here. So um, that's just uh, painted. The um, spine is also fabric with um, brads that have connected it to the cover, front and back covers. And then on the front, there are several things. Um, there is a real pin holder. And there are real pins, dip pin nibs that fit into the holder. There are uh, fake <laughs> um, ink bottles and they do come out and they have little corks in them that are glued in. There's not liquid inside this. It's just made to look like little bottles. And I tried to put labels on them to say ink, but it's such a tight fit that it wouldn't, it, the bottles wouldn't fit back in the little spaces. So they're just, they're just blank little bottles. But they're kind of cute. So they go in there. Um, these pin points can be used with ink, actual ink. This is a old brooch. Here's a little bug, little steampunk bug. And then here's, here's her watch. Here's the pocket. And the watch comes out of the pocket. And then it has the connecting pieces on it. So there's a little teapot with roses on it. Here's a little rose charm with a sparkly ball. Here's a key, copper colored key and a, um, a gear. This is removable. You can also open the back. It just pops. Just take a sharp knife or whatever and this pops off and you could put something inside it of your choice. I was going to put something in there, but I thought it would be nicer to have, you know, you could put a picture in there or a charm or whatever you like. So that's basically the um, cover. The closure is um, some sari silk, black sari silk. And um, this book was made from, uh, from a um, classification folder, which I said mat board. It's about the same thickness as mat board, but it's actually a classification folder that I made it from. So it opens like this. It has two sides. So we'll look at the first side. There's a place here to put your name if you'd like. And here's the lady. She was the inspiration for this book. She's very pretty. And I'm just going to flip through every page um, so that you can get an idea. I like to make um, edge clusters. I call them edgies. So these I've made all of these to go in here. And they're all steampunk related. This book has 116 pages front and back, has two booklets, four envelopes, and 10 tags. And it's six by nine inches with uh, one and three quarter inch spine. And I'm measuring the spine from this side because that's where the spine actually, from this side, that's where the spine actually is. So there are some large tags that are pretty simple. The images were too too uh, too nice to not use. 
And then there's some other things that are included in here. More stenciling, some beautiful coffee dyed paper. There's pockets. Here's a little ticket book. You open it up, it just has note pages in there. The pages in both of these journals, um, instead of inking the edges, I used an airbrush to do that. And um, it worked out really well. I, I, it's a different look. It's a little bit more speckledy around the edges, but I really enjoy doing it and I like the way it looks. I probably wouldn't do that for every journal I did, but I do like it for these two especially. Here's a pocket just with a little envelope in it has keys on it. A little tag page, tab page. So again, here you see the, the rose theme going through. And ephemera, little clock, a little note page. Some more stenciling. Here's another tag. Another edgy. This is a very nice page. Really pretty coloring and stenciling. And the strings have um, little dangles on them. A rose and a key in this case. More edgies and ephemera. More stenciling, nice little color on this page. Here's some roses. Here's a uh, perfume bottle. Hi, little gypsy. Nice to see you this morning. Just doing a flip through my steampunk journals before I send them off. A hot air balloon. And another little card. Tag. This paper is so beautiful. I just love it. Lamp. So there is quite a bit of room in, in this journal to write. And that's I like to leave a lot of room in my journals for writing. Because after all, that's what they're for. Journals are meant to be written in. Here's another tag. <clears throat> and that's the first signature. First side. Now, the way this book is made, the signatures are um, bound on these edges. So this one flips this way. To open. And these open really flat, you know, they're pretty flat. So here's another lady. This, this signature is similar, so I'm just going to um, flip on through. It's a cute little um, heart shaped eyelet there. I think that's cute. And a simple tag. Some more stenciling. And we've got a, a bottle and a key, and some lace. Another tag. Nice little um, hot air balloon pocket. 
Another tag with a hot air balloon. This gal likes hot air balloons, let me tell you. There's a nice big pocket and just a little, little booklet with a few things in it. And an envelope. <clears throat> it is better to see the destination we wish to reach than the point of departure. Don't look back, look ahead. A little Copper key. Here's a little dangle with uh, binoculars. More roses. Calendar page. Here's a fold out page. You can write on the back. Birds and roses on here. Here's the center. You can really see what I'm talking about with the speckles from the airbrush on here. But I do like it. Three more roses. A little envelope. And another little envelope. With a bug. Here's a little card. I keep saying card, I mean tag. Thanks, Gypsy. Some more roses. Coffee dyed paper, which is amazing. There's another tag. I dream with my eyes open, that's what it says. And here's a pocket, has a typewriter on it. And here's another tag, has also has a typewriter on it. A little key cluster. More roses, more roses, more roses. And the lady with the roses on the back. It's signed. Uh, this side also has dangles in the middle. And this side has the same rose with a little teacup or with a little cup with roses on it. So these pieces fold in, this folds together, and it ties very easily. So there's the lady. She's all done. And let's see. Here's the gentleman. Now his cover is also uh, made out of matte board and can covered with canvas and painted. 
It has the um, brads attaching the cover to the spine. Um, this is six by nine inches and it's a two and a quarter inch spine with two signatures. And the front has embossed metal with uh, several different pieces, a little key ring with little skeleton keys, a, a bug, and several gears attached. They're all attached with brads, a number, a clock, and then it's painted. And then here is, so there's the front. Yes, for steam. <laughs> Here's the back. Okay, let's look inside. See what the gentleman's doing. And once again, this journal lays flat. The inside is covered with uh, maps, which befits the gentleman. And here he is. He's very handsome. And again, it's the same style of journal as the lady, just a little bit more masculine in what I used in here. Stenciling, map page. Here's a flip out, similar to the other one. The tag. Got to have a bicycle in there for him. He's got to get around to go meet her before they go up on the balloon. <laughs> Here's some schematic paper, which is pretty cool. Camera, little tags. Here is uh, a camera on this. This is dictionary page. Here's a camera. And then I've stamped the airplane on there. And once again, I try to leave a lot of black space so you can add to or write in or whatever you want to do. Another large tag, a simple tag. And this, you can see through this window here, there's an elephant and some luggage. Another big simple tag. There's a center spread with the um, Ears on the on the string, on the binding string. <laughs> Bikes and balloons, right? And gears. <laughs> Little ledger pages, which I really like. Okay, here we go. Some more pockets and tags. Let me get back down here where you can see. Oops. Here's a handsome young guy. He has some kind of idea, I guess. <laughs> Do 
Here's the other another dictionary page with the train stamped on there. That's a really nice stamp. Little train. There you go. Back to the balloons. This book has 124 pages front and back, has one booklet, two envelopes, 19 tags. There's the first signature. And as you can see, there is plenty of room in here. You can add some more things. It's, it's not totally full. There's a belly band and here's another, whoops, here's another tag. And another tag. I, this is paper that I just absolutely love. I love this paper. Turned out nice for this book. So here's light bulbs. <clears throat> another big tag. You notice anything? <laughs> There's a bug inside there, and he looks like this. And I just now noticed that. I didn't even realize that, that I was doing that. But they look very similar. <laughs> Those things happen sometimes when you're not even thinking about it. So graph paper. Oh, look at the hats. <laughs> Another edgy. Here's a pocket. It has this, these are like little metal, they look like little metal brads is what they look like. <clears throat> There's some gears on there. Another edgy. A little pocket, another tag. There's a little bitty envelope, tiny, and a little tag with a little man on it. A little tag and a little man, and an airplane. Another nice edgy here with the tab. This is a little booklet with a tiny clip. And it's just blank pages. Well, Here's a charm that can easily be taken off. This is a, a bulb pin, and this is a bicycle charm, which looks very much like that. This is kind of a heavy, heavier charm. Here's an envelope. 
library paste. Library paste. A air balloon and a camera. Another edgy, another tag. This is a nice tag. It says flight. Tag. There's a lot of them in here. The future is but the present a little, little farther on. The future is but the present a little farther on. This is a little special delivery. The guy in the bicycle. And here's a cute, cute tag. Tag on a tag. The button. And here's some more of that trim with it. A metal filigree piece. This is a great inchy. I love this one. Got his little eye patch clock there. <laughs> I had to put this in here. <laughs> it's a little goofy, but I like it. And then there are two tags here. These are, I think these are the last ones. I was wrong. And this side also had the, um, I didn't, had the um, gears on the strings. So they all kind of dangle down. And it's assigned, and there is a place in the front for your name if you so desire. And there he is, the gentleman. So I hope you enjoyed that. These will be for sale on um, Keisha's. Craft Vendors Market sometime during the month, I'm sure. So thanks for watching. That was all for today. On to make some more. <laughs> thanks, Gypsy, for showing up. <laughs> Bye.